Hi guys, not sure if this is a friends and family gold ore garbage or just a disassembly video. I took this out of my daughter's electric scooter which we scrapped but I thought I'd keep the speedometer just to have a look inside it because I was doing some work on a project a while back that involved a spinning disc and a magnet and that's how the speedometer works in here so we'll take it apart EVT scooter got a few bulbs light bulbs and just a couple of screws to undo This is where the speedo cable would normally go, in here. So, like I say, we've got some light bulbs there, and a little LED display, and another LED just there. I feel like they're glued in place. Oh no, that one popped out when they come out. Yep. So. Well, I can do what I like with that. That's just some handy LEDs. I expect they're probably 12 volt bulbs. Yeah, 12 volt, 3 watt. So they'll be handy for something else. And then this is the bit I wanted to look at. I don't think we're going to be able to see enough of it, to be honest. I'll move the camera a bit closer. What we've got here, if I just push my screwdriver in the back, you can probably see this disc rotating, but that's really all we can see. There will be a magnet inside there that interacts with that disc spinning, and that turns. The speedo arm, or what do you want to call this, arrow, lever. It's got a little spring there. I think you know, I might have to take it apart a bit more because we can't see close enough. I've got a couple of screws to undo there, so I'll do that. Right, let's see if we can undo these. I'll probably have to lever that. Needle is the word I was thinking of, wasn't it? Is that going to come off easily? No. Oh, I'm going to be a bit stuck if we can't get that off. I have to try and be a bit more forceful. I'll do it off screen in case it all goes terribly wrong. Well, it came off. Just needed a good uh, pull to get it off. So now we can undo this. Oh. That's a bit better. We can see a bit clearer now. So the bits I wanted to point out is we've got a nice little spring there to dampen the motion. I suppose we could just push this back on for now. And then somewhere in there, oh yes, that's magnetic on the outside. So that must mean that this, 
cup or disc has got a magnet inside it and then here we have another disc but when this one's spinning round fast enough and I'm not going to be able to do that I don't think oh that's just enough to make it move isn't it So that disc there, or cup shape, is not connected to that disc, but there's a magnet in this one that magnetically couples with that one when it moves. And when I say magnetically couple, that's probably not entirely correct. It's the moving magnet is inducing an electric field in that disc and that's what's causing it to move. I'll put a link in my video description to the little project I was doing that uses the same principle. Thinking about it over on the window ledge is that project move the camera and we can look at that and try and see the link between the two. What I've got here is a metal disc and I've got some magnets here and when I spin these magnets fast enough they will cause that metal disc to spin. That's actually an aluminium disc, it's a hard drive platter. So I just hold this over the top. Oh, better zoom out a bit more. So it's that spinning magnet, or those spinning magnets, there's actually two there that are inducing electric current in there and the electric current creates a magnetic field. The same thing is happening in there. There's a magnet in there that as it spins round it creates an electric field in that one which creates its own magnetic field. In addition there's a spiral gear there that drives that gear there that drives oh I say spiral they're called helical aren't they helical gear there that drives that gear there that drives that helical gear there that drives that plastic gear there that drives that gear there that measures the mileage I know somebody will want to see it like this, so I've got my cordless drill plugged into the end of it. So I stick it in reverse. Yes, you can wind the clock back on the speedometer, or the odometer to be more specific. just occurred to me, I showed you my spinning magnets spinning up this aluminium disc but I didn't show you it trying to move the needle by spinning up the speed cup as it's called there so I'll just see if I can do that I've got to be a bit careful because all the framework here is iron or steel so the magnet's attracted to it. So I've got to 
hold it as close as I can and we'll see if we can get the needle to move. The only problem is you can't see that I'm not touching anything with it. Let's see if we can get a better angle. You can hear the motor slowing down because the magnets are reacting with all the metal work or being attracted to all the metal work. But I think you can see that needle going up and down. And that's the reverse of what's normally happening. It's normally this cup that's spinning, that's inducing the inner cup to spin. But I'm trying to do it with an external magnet. Still, hope that helps.